There it is. We got a first frozen key piece. There it is. Frozen key piece of bandos. Enter in 2H. Let's go. There it is. Frozen key piece of Zamorak. There it is. Frozen key piece of Sarah Doman. Now that we have all of our key pieces, let's assemble. And there it is. The frozen key. And that means we're officially ready for next. You made it. You didn't think I would? Nexus followers are capable of bringing down even the strongest warriors. I did fear you might not make it past them. St <coughs> Still there, nothing compared to the angel of death herself. So how do you deal with her? You'll never be able to truly defeat her. The best you can do is try and keep her contained. When you are ready to face her, just go through the barrier. It helps while the magic is limited here. It should still be able to transfer items in and out of the prison for you. Let me know if you'd like me to do this before you enter. Can I access my bank? That. This is the current gear setup I'm running for next right now. Um, I mean, you could easily switch out Ancestral for Arams, and Buckler is actually not too bad either. But uh, you could even switch out the Armado Crossbow for a Dragon Crossbow, Anguish for Fury. Um, and I mean, this is very well going to change, but as for now, just doing masses, this seems to be a pretty decent setup for me. After doing quite a few next trips, this current inventory setup on screen seems to be working best for me to get the most kills per trip. We managed to get... Sixty ecumenical key shards, seven nihil shards, and three blood essence. Not too shabby, and that's at 45 kill count now. All right, and there's not too much more you need to worry about for now as long as these masses are still going on, but I hope this helps you a little bit getting some of your first next kill counts. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, peace out, guys.